After two years and $65 million, the new Urbandale flyover bridge is finally open to traffic. KCCI senior reporter Todd Magel shows us how it will help ease traffic congestion in the busy area around Grimes and beyond. As you can see, traffic is finally driving over the new Urbandale flyover bridge. It opened early this morning after years of anticipation. Shortly before 5 a.m., the first cars headed up the new flyover bridge from Interstate 3580 to Highway 141 in Grimes. It's designed to make it easier for traffic to exit from the busy interstate to what has become a very busy highway. There's a lot of growth in the Northwest Metro, and drivers we talk to say it's about time. Initially, I think it might be a little bit confusing, but once we get used to it, I think that it'll, it'll really help because it's been a, a quite a bit uh, congested, and I drive trucks, so... I think for us truckers, we really appreciate it. Here's a look from the driver's point of view. Traffic exits I-3580 near Meredith Drive, heads up through a tight curve over the interstate, and then down to meet Highway 141 as it enters Grimes. In addition to the flyover bridge, the DOT opened a new half-diamond interchange at Meredith Drive. There is a new northbound exit and a new southbound entrance ramp from Meredith to the interstate. DOT engineer Ben Hucker says drivers will have to get used to that and get used to the speed limit on the flyover bridge. There's two curves in the flyover and just because of where we had to kind of fit it in amongst all the existing businesses, it's, uh, it's a little tighter than, than a lot of flyovers that people may have encountered before. It's got an advisory speed limit of 35 miles an hour, so that's important uh, to reduce your speed to 35 uh, by the time you get to that first curve. Urbandale and Grimes business owners say they're also excited about the new flyover bridge opening, saying it will bring lots more business into this growing area. 